And the next thing we're going to show is preset tours. This is an interesting one for a lot of scenarios. What a preset tour does is it allows you to set up a preset. So I've got a preset for preset seven. So I already set all this up just to make it easy. Preset seven on John. Preset eight on Tess. And preset nine on me. And this is somewhat of a normal scenario where you've got three or four presets and you maybe it's during the pre-show. Maybe mm -hmm. it's more for like action and energy during a production. Sure. Um, and what it gives you the ability to do is set a time interval. So how much time you'd like the camera to spend between each preset. You can select as many presets as you want. You can even say seven through nine and 12 and 20. I'm not going to do that because they're just, you can do that by just putting a comma in between the numbers, mm -hmm. but I'm just going to have seven through nine here. And then you can have the speed between the presets. So John has requested that we set this to the <laughs> max. Yeah, let's test it to the max. And we'll Some go stress ahead. stress testing on this puppy. So this is truly like a shiny moment on automation for our cameras. So it allows, this is how I imagine you can use this for a rock show, for instance. If you want to constantly switch between every performer, which we were kind of mimicking and, and uh, making fun of. But basically, this could be something that you just have on for a camera. You can switch to it whenever you'd like, but it creates a very fast, fun, dynamic view of changing and moving to different points across your frame. So imagine this at a rock show and you have one on the drummer, the bass, the guitarist, the lead singer, and it could even be for the pre-show. Say if they're just, you know, want to have set up shots for a big crowd and they want to just show the audience before the band comes out, you could just have this set up and just let it roll. Um, or you could just have it going in the background for an input whenever you need it. So Mike, why don't we cut to the output of this real quick? And what I'm going to do is I am going to go, to, uh, I'm going to go ahead and change the preset tour to another slower uh, output. Thank you. I was getting dizzy. Because it is, <laughs> you can see how fast it's going there. I, I need to slow this baby down. <laughs> so I'm going to slow it down uh, by going to turn that off temporarily. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn it back on. And as much as you can make these crazy fast movements, you can do slow, smooth pans yeah. and, you know, look across whatever you want to look across. You know, I, lo I love the idea of just just keep running in the background and maybe you don't see the feed, but you can switch to it whenever you like, you know. Yes. All right. Now we're going to do a much slower. Movement, so four seconds on each of us yeah. and look at how nice and slow the movements are in between. So. Wanted to do that because this would provide a much more interesting shot for like a slow kind of like pan around a, a concert hall sure. or something of, of that nature. So just wanted to give a couple different examples of this preset tour being used. Okay. Now we've got more. Let's turn back. Let's 